Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I've seen a lot of people do videos like I copied Kylie Jenner's Instagram for a week or I copied Selena Gomez's Instagram for a week and I thought it would be a really fun challenge for me to take on. However, for my take on this challenge, I didn't want to do somebody that's been done a million times before. I wanted to do it on someone that I genuinely look up to. Someone who I think is really pretty and someone that I think is going to be a pretty big challenge for me because her wardrobe <laughs> is really cuter than mine so let's see how that goes self-esteem hi how are you Alyssa uh, <laughs> this week's not gonna be very good for you <laughs> recently I've been getting comments like this all over my channel and my social media which is what actually led me to deciding to recreate some of Bella's Instagram photos if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram you can find me at Alyssa Ray and you can see all five photos that I recreated of Bella's anyways enough talking let's get on to the video Okay, so we're at the first destination. Um, I'm speaking low because we're in a coffee shop, but my mom's gonna take pictures of me, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna order some cappuccino and try to recreate Bella's first look. Bella's photo, okay? And this was how mine turned out, okay? <laughs> it's not the best, it's not like an exact replica, but you get the point. And what I think I deserve a lot of credit for is I went out of my way for so many of these pictures. Oh my God, I stayed up so late recreating these pictures and I had to go out to like several different stores to try and find the right outfit. It was time consuming, so. I didn't have a shirt that was similar to the one that Bella was wearing in her photo, so I just went to Target really quick and I picked up that NASA shirt. Picture number two, let's do it. Can you get me the plant, please? This is so hard. That's what she said. <laughs> so I noticed that this next photo that Bella posted was actually taken the same day as the first picture she posted. So I took advantage of that and when I got home from the coffee shop that day, I came home and I started taking these pictures and this was the final product. So I have my shirt that I bought. Everything here on this table, I seriously just picked it up from the store right now. I'm gonna try to recreate this photo right here. And she has this really nice dress on. It's like $300. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna try and recreate it. I got some leaves here. I'm gonna try to make them small, cut them into little leaf sized shapes because she does have some sequin, some leaves and some pearls on her shirt, well on her dress. I'm gonna try my best to see how this works out. Okay, so I just did my makeup. Um, kind of living for this. This is my little interpretation of Bella's eye look that she was wearing in that photo. I also finished the shirt and it looks a little bit like this. It looks really pretty. I didn't expect it to come out this good. So I'm really hoping for a good photo shoot of this. I'm gonna go inside, 
take a couple pics and hopefully I'll get a good one. I'm honestly pretty proud of myself for this one. I had to go to the craft store. I had to go to the clothing store. I had to make my own shirt, okay? I really went all out for this one. So even if the photos don't look like similar or like identical, I think I deserve an A for effort. So here's my photo next to Bella's. I also noticed while taking these photos that our hair is parted differently. Bella usually parts hers to the left, I think. I usually part mine to the right. And in this day in particular, I knew that she was parting it the different way, but my hair was not working with me. It was not working with me. I was just one of those hair days and I just couldn't get it right. So I had to stick with, you know, what my hair was used to. And uh, that, that's what I came out with. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches, you know? Talk to me when you're ready. Are you ready? <sighs> to do this. The goal is for me to look like this. But right now I'm looking like this. It's not working out. Look at this, my leaves falling and I didn't even shower. Okay, yeah, we get it. She's perfect, okay? Maybe if I fold it in half. Hing, hing, hing. <laughs> You're freaking chunty as in time. I know, everything's chunty about me right now. This is all I could find, so this is what I'm gonna work with. Like a wing. Wow. Tiny little thing. Wow. Don't look at that. I was really a mess for this one, okay? This photo, when I was taking these photos, it was like 1 a.m. I had barely started putting on my makeup like at 12. It just wasn't a good feeling. I was tired and I didn't even shower for that picture. I'm pretty sure Bella showered or at least she washed her hair. That's why her hair was in a towel. I was just a mess. It was not cute. After a couple rounds of Facetune though, that was perfect. So here's Bella's photo once again and here's mine. Hey guys, so I'm about to take this photo in a little bit and um, as you can tell, I don't have on the little stars that Bella has in this photo because I'm gonna go eat really quickly before I take these photos and I don't want anyone to be like, where is this? Where does this girl think she's going? Like, this is not Coachella, you know? I'm gonna hold off on that, but I do have the stars that did um, purchase them. So I noticed in the photo that Bella has like this washed out t-shirt going on with a little bit of holes in them. I don't have anything that's like similar to that. I don't have um, any shirts with holes in them. So I am gonna take one of my boyfriend's old shirts that he doesn't want anymore, flip it inside out because it has like writing on the front. And it looks pretty identical. It looks washed out, but in the camera it looks black, but in person it looks washed out. So I'm thinking it'll look okay, and I'm just gonna cut holes in it. So let's see how this goes. I am going to cut a hole in the neck. This is probably not like the best way to be doing this right now, but um, hey, we gotta do this, and we gotta do it on a budget, so. Kind of just like a little one of these that might be too big. Fuck. It has like a hole right here. Boop. I should probably be wearing this, shouldn't I? I'm gonna throw this on really quick. Hold on. So what we got going on so far. Um, we have a hole here. We'll do another hole. Make sure not to cut my hair, bitch. Right there. Kind of open it a little bit. Ooh, I think that's good. Kind of messed up around the neck, but I think it might pass. It's pretty damn close, okay? Cut me some slack. <laughs> By the way, I love this makeup look. Bella, girl, you did the damn thing. You killed this. It was really actually convenient because she actually had a tutorial on this look. So I was just following that shit, taking my time, you know, doing my thing, having some chips, you know, just blending away. And um, it came out really pretty. I really, really like it. See you in a little bit.
This was actually the last photo that I decided to recreate because I think at one point Bella had stopped posting photos for like a couple days and if she did post a photo it was something that like I wasn't comfortable recreating because I'm insecure <laughs> and I just I don't know for one reason or another I just couldn't recreate that photo so I decided to scroll down her Instagram and I found this picture and this picture seems to be something that is like her like definitely her like if someone did this look you'd be like that's Bella's makeup and actually she did a tutorial on her YouTube channel if you're not following her I'll leave her YouTube down below but you should be because like why aren't you but she made a makeup tutorial for this look so I was like this is perfect I will follow that makeup tutorial and I will you know succeed and this is what I came out with right here and I'm pretty proud of it I think it's really cute I think she's a cutie this one she's a cutie this one too Alright guys, so that was all the photos that I recreated. I really hoped you liked it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe down below for new videos every single Wednesday. Also make sure to hit that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. I don't want you guys to be missing any of my posts, so make sure to click that little bell to be notified every single time I upload, okay? Make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which photo you think turned out the best. Guys, wouldn't that be crazy if Bella saw this video and she was just like, what is this? <laughs> She'd be like, ooh. I kind of see it like here and there, like the, the similarities a little bit. At first I didn't see it at all, but then I started to notice like when I have like no makeup on, I feel like I look like her a lot. And in certain angles, I just feel like I look like her in certain angles, but overall, I love myself, I am beautiful, I love Bella, I'm sure she loves herself, and she is beautiful as well. So I know that Instagram can make a lot of people feel insecure, it can make a lot of people think, oh my god, this person is so much prettier than me, or this person has such a better life than me, but at the end of the day, it's just Instagram, it's just social media, it's just a picture that you're seeing on a screen, and that's it. You don't know how their life is, how they're doing, or how they're feeling. I don't mean to turn this into a lesson or anything, but I feel like this is a good moment to say something. Just love yourself and be happy with who you are. And of course, always spread positivity to someone and leave a comment on their picture and be like, Oh my god, you're so pretty, girl! Or whatever, you know? Because I'm sure that when someone tells you that you look beautiful or that that's a nice picture or that's a nice dress that you're wearing, it makes you feel good. So spread that positivity and spread that love and go tell someone else, bitch, you look poppin', okay? Go tell them. I actually had a lot of fun recreating these pictures because I haven't been posting a lot on Instagram, but this actually made me keep posting more often and I really liked doing that. That was really fun. So if you guys want to see me recreate someone else's photos or maybe like YouTubers photos, that'd be pretty cool. So let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do this again and with who you want me to recreate. Okay guys, well, I'll see you later. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.